When was the last time you saw a car manufacturer retire a successful model that was well past its prime? Probably never. In India especially, it would get a new nose, some new graphics and be relaunched as all new. It's something Maruti has done very successfully in the past. But now, with its blue-eyed boy, the Wagoner, Maruti has gone the whole hog. This is the all-new Wagoner and it really is all new. It's got a new platform, a new engine, new styling and some new features. But will it still be the same success for Maruti in India? That's what we're here to find out. Unlike Maruti's recent launches, this new Wagoner is an India-specific model that shares nothing with its Japanese counterparts. And though the tall boy design and squared edges remain, there have been attempts to make it look more modern and sporty. The front gets a more pronounced bonnet with a big bold grill and the blue-eyed boy actually gets blue eyes in the form of a tiny blue parking lamp cover in the redesigned headlamp cluster. Maruti has increased the wheelbase by 40 mm and viewed in profile, the slanting roofline with chrome rails provides some dynamic relief to the boxy silhouette. The rear has also been freshened up with a new bumper, redesigned tail lamps and a chunky chrome lip. The lengthened wheelbase allowed the designers to build huge doors. So regardless of your age or physical state, this is a very comfortable car to get into. And it's even better to sit in. Especially in the back, the tall boy design allows for best-in-class headroom, while even with the reasonably tall driver in front of me, leg and knee room is pretty good. However, this is still a very narrow car, so if you're looking to sit three in comfort at the back, it's not going to happen for very long. What used to be a rather basic cabin is now transformed with a new dash layout, upmarket blue upholstery and a whole host of add-ons I didn't expect. The VXI variant I drove comes with retractable cup holders, powered rear view mirrors, keyless entry and even a large storage space under the front passenger seat. There's also a brand new tilt adjustable steering wheel and an integrated in-dash four speaker music system that plays CDs and even has a very useful front aux port to plug in your iPod. This car is now powered by the 998cc 3-cylinder K10B engine we first saw on the A-Star. It produces 68 PS of power and 90 newton meters of torque, so it should be easy to drive in the city and still have enough in reserve for when you want to put your foot down on the highways. Having already proved its fuel efficiency on the A-Star, the BS4 compliant engine gives the Wagoner an ARAI certified mileage of 18.9 km per litre and the car can also run on E10 fuel. But while it is the most significant change to the mechanicals, it's not the only change. A frequent complaint about the old Wagoner was its soft and notchy gearbox. And so Maruti's addressed that by replacing the old rod-linked unit with a new cable-linked 5-speed gearbox. And it's a good one. From the first shift, it feels slick and sure with no notchiness. OK, if you've been driving an A-Star or a Ritz, the throws do feel a little bit longer but that's only because of the longer gear lever. Maruti has also made major changes to the Wagoner's suspension and that's had a positive impact on its dynamic ability. The steering isn't feather light anymore and actually provides some feedback when cornering. And on a short drive from Puri to Konark in Orissa, the car felt planted on the highway. Because of its height, there is still a lot of body roll, but the Wagoner doesn't deviate from its line or change lanes when cornered hard. Now, because of all the space on offer, a lot of people are going to buy this car, hand the keys over to a chauffeur and settle down in the back. So good ride quality is critical. And that's where the Wagoner is a bit of a split personality. At slow speeds, in typical city conditions, the ride is good and compliant, ironing out most bumps and potholes with ease. But as you pick up speed, it does tend to get a bit more undulating and bumpy. So this is not a great place to try and sip coffee at 100 kilometers an hour. And a now substantial feature list, it's no surprise that this new Wagoner is more expensive 
with the VXI variant I'm driving priced at just over 4 lakh rupees. That puts it in competition with the Hyundai i10 and the funky and loaded Chevrolet Beat, but picking a winner out of that group will require a full-fledged comparo. At the start of this test, I called the wagon our Maruti's blue-eyed boy. And that's all the more reason for this to have been a simple engine, nose and stickering job. I mean, why mess with a good thing, a bestseller? But Maruti chose to go the whole hog and the result has been well worth the risk. This is a contemporary car with fresh styling, an efficient new engine and way more safety features. But it still retains its essence, its value for money proposition. And that's why the Wagonar brand will continue to be a bestseller for Maruti in India.